the former CEO of Olympus, fired for exposing the company's accounting fraud, said on Thursday it was a vindication seven men have been arrested in association with Japan's biggest corporate scandal. I think today does demonstrate that there is a seriousness in Japan to investigate what has happened. But there are still many important issues which are not covered by today's announcements. Firstly, the banks. These were huge amounts of money. And we need to understand what extent the banks were involved. Michael Woodford told journalists in London he welcomed the arrests, including that of the former president of Olympus Corp and ex-bankers for their role in a $1.7 billion accounting fraud at the medical equipment and camera maker. Never indication, and um, it is justice, and um, I'm encouraged a lot by that, and I feel very positive. Nevertheless, there are still a lot of questions, and many of my contacts in Japan and many of the media contacts say this now is a nice tidy finish, and there's too many questions unanswered, and we don't want a tidy finish. We want to know everything and every party which has been involved. So we've come a long way, but uh, I don't think we're at a point where we are at closure. Tokyo prosecutors arrested ex-president Siyoshi Kikukawa, former executive vice president Hisashi Mori, and former auditor Hideo Yamada on suspicion of violating the financial instruments and exchange law. The three former executives had been identified by an investigative panel commissioned by Olympus as the main culprits in the fraud. The scandal was exposed in October by then-CEO Woodford, who was sacked by the Olympus board after inquiring dubious mergers and acquisition deals later found to have been used to conceal the losses. The arrests come as investors focus on who will run the once proud company when its management steps down at an April 20th shareholders meeting. They're either stupid if they didn't respond to the communications or they knew. Either way. So Olympus cannot have and that Japan can't have and the Nikkei can't have and the Tokyo Stock Exchange. They can't have people who receive six letters explicitly warning them of the dangers uh, from the 23rd of September right up until uh, the uh, Thursday the 13th when they received the last letter, those people mustn't stay in office in any Japanese company of any kind. His successor is likely to be one of the three board members the panel said was not responsible for the cover-up. Woodford heavily criticized the fact that those three board members are still present at the company. And I say to Japan in particular and anyone involved in Japan, transparency and openness is the most important thing. Uh, in ensuring this tale uh, and all its tentacles is uh,